My name is Ricardo Mahaber. November would be a good timeline when everything started. I was in aviation for about 10 years. My wife was pregnant, Allie. Aviation took me everywhere. I traveled everywhere. I was home a lot. So we made a decision that, okay, I needed to start looking at other options. So I did and I decided, okay, I'm going to stay put. So I needed to like figure out what skill sets I had. I had started working at Carnival. The hours were, were didn't work with us having Emma. She was three at the time and then running back and forth. And then after that, Allie working all the way in Hollywood. So it just logistically, it was, a, it was really tough because I wouldn't get home until 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. By that time she's already asleep and then you, in the morning I wouldn't see her so basically I don't see my, my daughter. I put in the time but I didn't get paid. There was no money. Like the money wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. My expectations from the job were higher than they actually were. February comes around, Allie calls me in the morning and she said, I have a headache and I'm feeling a little lightheaded. So uh, I was at work and I told her, well, go get it checked out. So she did. She called me in the afternoon and she says, uh, you know, she's like, baby, they're, they're admitting me. So I told my boss, I said, hey, listen, um, my wife is being admitted to the hospital. She's pregnant. She's seven months pregnant. I'm just going to go check it out, make sure she's okay, and I'll be back. You know, maybe, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, but I'll be back. I went to the hospital and they admitted her for high blood pressure. Turns out she had preeclampsia, so her blood pressure was high. She became a high risk. They couldn't release her home. So I basically stayed there in the hospital with her. So Allie wakes up one morning and then she says, I'm starting to have back pains. And then she gets lightheaded. The nurse comes, checks her out, tells her, okay, it's time. It's time right now. Baby has to come out right now. If the baby does not come out, if we don't do this right now, something's going to happen. Either you or the baby, the baby or Allie it's not gonna make it. So she goes on to surgery. My son is born. He's in the NICU. He's, uh, you know, God bless him. He's safe. God bless my wife. She's safe. And now starts the recovery time. So I go to work. I, I used up all my time. I was new. I, was, I had literally just made 90 days. I used all whatever sick time vacation, whatever they could use to help me out. And it came to the point where they said, hey, what are you gonna do? Are you coming back? And I said, well, I gotta take my wife home and she can't walk. So they said, well, uh, that, you know, we, we decided to, to part ways. Allie's on now maternity leave. While she's on maternity leave, she's not being paid. I'm now unemployed. I'm not being paid. And this is where it starts to go downhill. Month goes by, two months goes by, and then I start applying. She's going to go back to work. I need to go back to work. We need to, to, to get our life back to normal. A friend of mine calls me and goes, hey, I have a job opportunity for you. So I said, great. So I went on the interview. They said, yeah, you've got the job. It's great. I said, oh, great. Month goes by, nothing. I call him, hey, you know anything about a job? Two months go by, hey, we're still waiting, we're still waiting, job fell through. All the while, we're going through our savings, and we're going through our savings, so we're going through our savings. September rolls around, so I applied with uh, American Express, thought for sure I was gonna get a job. I go to my interview, I did okay on the interview, thought for sure I had it. Next week rolls around, I said, we'll, we'll have an answer for you no later than Tuesday. Tuesday comes up, I didn't hear anything in the morning, so I started to get a little nervous. American Express calls me and goes, yeah, you didn't get the job. Okay, I didn't get the job. Now, I'm starting to stress. So I'm saying, God, what's, what's going on? I should have had that job. I'm, nothing. Didn't hear anything from anyone. Uh, it happens. Life happens, you know, but I'm, I'm fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Even though inside, I'm like freaking out. And I uh, started feeding Noah. I'm like, we're, we're, we're there. We're at the point now where I'm like, I don't even know how I'm going to afford to feed my child. Not even Emma, who's in school. How am I going to pay for her school? How am I going to feed Noah, all of these things. How am I gonna pay mortgage? I can't even pay mortgage. We ran, we're, we're down to nothing. Savings have been depleted. I'm like, I, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to sell a car. I'm gonna have to sell a kidney. I got two. You, you just start like having these irrational thoughts. You're like, I gotta, I gotta do something. What am I gonna do? Chris calls me that night. He's like, hey, I heard you didn't get a job. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you know, let, look, Rick, I know you. He's like, let's, let, let's pray. I'd appreciate that, let's do it. So we prayed over the phone, he prayed for me. Next day I get a call and they're like, hey, Atlas Air want to interview you. So I did the phone interview and they said, hey, you're, you, you're, you're what we're looking for. So they flew me up to New York, I did the interview in person. At that interview they go, we'd like to hire you. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, not, you gotta be kidding me, I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks, great. First thing I did was I prayed and I said, thank you. I, 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 it just, it wasn't supposed to happen that way because I didn't go looking for the job. The job came looking for me. How does that happen? How do you go from your, your, the jobs you're applying for, the jobs you're looking for, the career that you want, the, the, the decisions that you make, everything that you say you're gonna do and that you want, I'm gonna go here, I, I'm gonna get Norwegian, this is job, I've, I've got it down pat, American Express, I've done this for 
15, 20 years, I've got it in my pocket, I'll get it done, and then they come back and they go, no, this is not for you. If, if that doesn't tell you, there's definitely a higher power, I don't know what does. And you get to your, your, your wit's end, and you, 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 you just think about it, you're just like, how is this gonna happen? And then all you do is, you, all you have to do is pray. You have to have faith, and you have to, above all else, realize it's in His time, not yours. I think, I think Ali, Ali is actually the rock, um, not because she's cold and heartless. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no.